It's the jelly style phone from Unihertz. So I hope you're as excited as I am. Hello and welcome to Dumb Phones UK. I'm Joseph, I'm a stand-up comic from the UK. This is the channel where I look at dumb or dumber phones from the UK. And have I got a treat for you today? It's the Unihertz Jelly 2 phone. Now this phone is available through the Unihertz website. I got it on a Kickstarter. I ordered it back in June, I believe sort of mid-June, and I paid roughly uh, the exchange rate at the time, I think it was something like 1,200 Hong Kong dollars. So I think it works out at about 125 pounds. I mean, the project got backed pretty quickly. And as you can see, this is completely new. It hasn't been opened and we're gonna do that today on this channel for you lovely people. The phone itself is billed as the world's smallest smartphone that runs Android 13. So if that's something that you need, amazing, right? The phone itself is tiny. I mean, that is actual size, that picture on the front of the box, that is actual size. <laughs> of the phone so it gives you an idea of how small the phone is. I know that this is a full smartphone as it were, it's obviously tiny, but it is a transition device and people are using this to reduce their screen time. The camera, the back facing camera is 48 megapixels and the front facing camera is eight megapixels and then everything else, it has what you expect. You know, it's got Bluetooth, GPS, NFC, which obviously is another selling point. So we are gonna look in and unbox this phone. As ever, please like, please subscribe, because there's going to be more videos on this phone. I've obviously been doing stuff on the Cat S22 Flip as well. And so they are kind of transition devices, but there'll be more dumber phones to come. Please do drop a comment below, drop anything you'd like me to do with the phone, test and record and show you, because that's what it's been made for, you guys. I basically found that when I was looking for a different device, there weren't many videos on the slightly niche devices in the market. So that's why I've created this channel. So anything, drop it below and figure it out. I'm very excited to see what this phone is like. Obviously, I've been looking a lot at the Cat S22 Flip, and with this phone, it's got the small keypad here. Uh, it has, obviously has the uh, buttons as well, and is a rugged phone. This is more of a traditional smartphone, as you were, but a lot of people on dumb phone reddit or other places where people talk about dumb phones they use this phone as a bit of a transition device because the screen is so small that they say that it reduced screen size so we're going to see what it's like but today let's delve on into that box this is the jelly star phone it's the world's smallest device that runs android 13 and i think we're going to be v excited when we open this and have a little look into it. Grab myself a sharp knife. Let's see what I can do, nice and safe. There we go, that is the outer layer coming off. Here we go then, able. Within here, let's have a look at what we've got. We have got little section to insert our SIM card. We have a screen protector. Now, if the size of the screen protector that comes with it is anything to go by, it's a small old screen. We have our user guide as well, our Jelly Star user guide. So you can see here, we have the appearance of the phone, the back of the phone, and then any more information. This side gives us an uh, overview of what's in the box and how to insert the SIM and micro SD cards. We then also have the lights, shortcuts and settings, which is another feature of this phone. We then also have our little warranty section as well. So that's the paperwork of the phone and the additional screen cover, as I believe the phone itself comes with a screen cover. Now this is the bit everyone has been waiting for, the phone itself. You can see on this little cover, we have volume up, volume down, programmable button, here and then the power button. We have the phone itself, so I'm gonna show you this back of the phone. And you can see it's made, can we get that in focus? It's made in China. Great, so I am gonna get this phone out of its cover. You can see the back of the phone here. So I went for the blue version of the phone. And you can see these two sections are the lights on the phone that it displays and shows. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Now we can see the device. So the device itself is, I mean, that's it compared to my hand, or if I were to do it that way, that's it compared to my hand. It's very, very small. We have the Jelly Star phone here. We then have an iPhone here. Then we have the Cat S 22 Flip here. 
So you can see the size of the phone in comparison to everything if I stack them on top of each other. You can see that it is smaller. You can see that it is much smaller than an iPhone. Uh, however, thickness wise, it is probably two and a bit iPhone tens. I'm gonna show you it in comparison to the Cat S22 Flip. So in terms of size of the Flip itself, smaller than the Cat S22 Flip and size on the side, it's not actually that dissimilar. It is smaller than the Cat S22 Flip, as you can see, but it's still quite a chunky device. Because of the fact that I backed this phone early, it came with a protective case, and you can just see within the phone or on the phone here, we've got our front-facing camera, we've got our three buttons at the bottom, and then we have our rear-facing camera, torch, and I think fingerprint sensor. I'm gonna have a look at this. This is the first time I've seen this phone as well. So it's exciting for me. You can see on the bottom here, we've got our microphone, we've got our speaker. And then in terms of the phone on the top, we have our aux cable. And I am intrigued as to where I, there we go. That's where I charge the phone. So I'm gonna pop the phone on charge now. I'm just gonna pop the phone down while I look through the box. And then we will come back to the phone in a little bit. We're just going to go through the box while we're here. So I'm going to have a look in the box. Nothing in that section. That's where the phone was sat. And then within the box itself, it's all very neatly packaged. There is nothing in here. We then have, oh great, we have a little uh, attachment so that I can attach it to the phone and I can hold it around my hand or hold it around my arm, which I think is a very nice thing to have. So thank you for that, Unihertz. We then also have a charger cable, which is, as we can see, USB-C. And then anything else in these sections? No, that is everything. So it's very simple. The box itself doesn't contain a lot of stuff. Here we have the phone and we are gonna turn it on for the first time together. So let me click this power button and see what happens. Okay. This was the power button and we can see the phone coming on now. Perfect. So we can now see the phone is fully charged and it's currently getting 4G signal. Let's see, it's currently picked United Kingdom by default, so I'm very happy with that. And vision settings, let's see what it offers me. I can customize the device. I'm actually gonna leave it as is at the moment and I'm gonna start the setup process. I've just connected the phone to the Wi-Fi, and it's currently setting up the phone. So we're gonna pop it down here and leave it. There we go, it's set up the phone. I'm not gonna copy any information over. Unsure what info it's currently checking because this is a complete new setup of the phone. And it's asking me to sign in. I'm gonna skip this for now, just so we can get into using the phone. And ask us all the standard stuff. Use Google as my search engine, and I'm gonna set up a pin. And I can set up my fingerprint if I would like to. So I can do this. I can do that on the back of the phone here. So I'm gonna set that up now to see how it all works. So I'm gonna to touch my index finger to the back of the screen. There we go, it's added my index finger, so we will test that and unlock with my face. No, I don't wanna do that. And we're back to getting my phone ready. The phone is ready pretty quickly, so let's lock the phone. And let's... Ooh! Okay, let's unlock the phone with my finger. Okay, that all works very well. I'm gonna lock it again and see what goes on with that light. Okay, first time it did that. Absolutely no, <laughs> absolutely no idea what went on there, but hey, it's part of the fun. Gonna unlock with my finger. So LED is where I've turned off all the lights. I've now turned the lights on. So I imagine this means that these will light up when something comes in. So that's me turning the light slash torch section of the back of the phone on. Unsure, you can see that you can go into a proper sort of 
in-depth look at the lights themselves. We're not going to do that now, obviously. We will dig into that a lot more later. But I just want to show you the size of the screen on this phone. Use without an account. And I'm just going to, no thanks, I'm going to hop into, there we go. You can see the keyboard on this phone. So that is my little finger. My little finger is the size of the phone screen and half of that is the actual keypad itself. So let's see whether I can type in anything. Um, and I can go to YouTube. Dumb. Nope. Phones UK. That's going to, oh, and the phone's crashed, okay. Well, this is the first time I've set it up and using it, so I think it's just getting used to everything. So let's see. How this works, I don't want it to send me any notifications. You can see that going to dumb phones, there you go, there I am. And there come the videos that we currently have, all currently to do with the cat. S22 flip, but this phone is very exciting. I'm really excited on what's going on with this phone. So we're gonna come back to this a little bit later. I think it's gonna be a very interesting phone to play around with. The lights on the back are interesting, whether they actually have any use or whether it's more sort of a gimmick. The fingerprint sensor, let me just lock this phone again and test and see if I can unlock using my finger. Yes, I can, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna have a lovely time testing this phone. So this is the Jelly phone and wow, that is a bright torch for a tiny little phone. Do pop anything you want me to test on this phone below. I'm gonna mess around and play with the phone to see what it does so I can start putting out videos on certain aspects of it. But I currently really like this. This is exciting just to see. You can see that the screen is able to scroll exactly as you'd expect. I'm going to open up Chrome again and I'm going to hop to BB, BBC Sport. There we go. We can see that the text to speak works very well as well. So very intrigued by this little device and we're going to spend a lot more time with it. That was the video for the Jelly Star. I hope you enjoyed it. There's gonna be plenty more videos of actual footage of this phone, so please do like and subscribe. Drop anything you want me to do below, but most of all, stay safe, behave yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.